Hi guys, how you doing? So first of all, I just want to apologise for not having a video up last Thursday, I think it was. Um, I don't really know why. Well, there was a mixture of reasons. My computer just stopped working properly, so I was trying to fix it. But also, I don't know, I, just, I was out and about at different events and stuff and it just became a bit much. So apologies for not having a video out. I did, have, I did plan to have another video today, but I just thought, you know what, let me just sit down, chat to you about some things that I've been loving recently. Um, so I think in my last current favorites video, uh, some of you said that you would like to see monthly favorites. So I'm gonna trial it out and do monthly favorites and uh, let's see how well it works for me. So let's, let's do this. So here they are, my October favorites, guys. <laughs> let's start with this okay so this is something i've been really liking recently now this is the mac i don't know why it's back in the box because i have no idea guys let me just tell you this now but this is the mac new mac studio fix perfecting stick and i got the shade nw45 now i didn't really know what you're supposed to do with this as in was it a concealer what was it um but i personally have actually been using it as a very lazy way to do foundation when I'm going to work if I can't really be bothered to do you know proper foundation base I have literally just been using this and this is what it looks like it comes in a stick like that and all I've been doing is literally just like placing it on areas that I just want more coverage you guys know my skin I've got hyperpigmentation especially around my eyes and that's where I kind of focus it and uh yeah and it's it seemed to work for me and that's the color there so you can see what it looks like and then I just blend it out with my brush or like a beauty blender or something and then easy and i don't really need to use a lot i just literally just use a little bit of this and yeah it's easy for me and i can just go like that to work and it just works really well so now something else i've been really enjoying and using has been this which is a bit grubby i apologize but it's my freedom uh what is it freedom <laughs> makeup london eyebrow pomade and the shade i'm using is ebony and i only started using this again because i really wanted to kind of finish it up and i've used quite a bit of it the color ebony is as i said is what i'm using on my um brows today and it works really well for me it it lasts really long on my eyebrows i personally don't have any any problems with it like transferring or just you know coming off and stuff so yeah it it, it works well for me easy to apply they're quite creamy but at the same time not so creamy that you know it's really hard to apply but if you have the right brush then yeah that it would make all the difference this is five pounds compared to the anastasia beverly hills one which i can't remember how much it is but it's definitely way more expensive than this and yeah to me this is just worth it and i think this is a great dupe and yeah i i personally won't be buying the anastasia one again i find the anastasia one dries quite quickly whereas this one i've had quite a while and it hasn't dried up as quickly as the Anastasia one did. So the next thing I'm going to talk about are some blushes that I've been really enjoying this month and one of them has been this and this is more on the higher end range for my blushes but it's the Le Metier de Beauty, I don't know how you pronounce it, blusher and I mentioned this in my recent haul video that I showed you guys and I don't think I said what the shade was but it's the shade Rumour I think it is and it's like it's just a rouge powder that's what they call it a radiance powder but it's gorgeous it's such a stunning shade i'll swatch this for you it's very creamy and that's what that looks like there as i said this is quite an expensive uh blusher so yeah but on me it just looks really really gorgeous it's got that orangey tone to it but it's got that kind of like foiled shimmer to it as well which makes it great for a luminous blush on deeper skin tones but also you can use this as an eyeshadow as well so i've been really liking that and i thought i would mention that to you another blush i've been really enjoying has been the mac blusher in sweet as cocoa and i've used this one i think i've used this one the most actually this month and it's just a gorgeous it's just a gorgeous shade it's like a brown with some shimmer in it and if you haven't noticed i've been really enjoying blushes with that kind of glow to them because in the mornings especially going to work like you can't bother, if i can't be bothered to do the whole highlighter routine then the second best option <laughs> is to just have a two-in-one so this is one of mac's um shimmer blushes 
and it's stunning it's such a beautiful shade it's a kind of like a it's like a bronzy brown with like a subtle like reddish tone to it so good and it works as an everyday color on like for your blush everyday color for deeper skin tones gorgeous and as you can see it gives like a really nice sheen to it as well so something else which is more recent that i've been enjoying this month is the narcissist palette and it's the new what is it called the dual intensity cheek palette that i showed you guys in a recent haul video but i've really been enjoying this and i've been using this um for the past i don't know how long like i'd say the past few days and i've really enjoyed it this month so it comes with a bronzer shade which you can see there and then a deep blusher and then it comes with like an iridescent like peachy gold blusher and then it comes with a strong highlighter shade there really enjoying them i mean this shade here is a bit too white for me so i'd have to tend to like mix the two together but I think these work so nicely on my skin tone. They're really pigmented shades and that's the full swatch there. So you can see how nicely they work and what I typically tend to do is just put my brush and just sweep it across um, the three darker shades in this and then just use that as my blusher and it works really well and again it gives me that kind of blush highlight in one kind of thing. Again, loving that this month. I said about highlighters and the fact that I've been using more shimmer tone blushes with or luminous blushes to kind of compensate for not highlighting, but that doesn't mean I haven't been highlighting this month. And uh, MAC recently came out with some new highlighters and I think the last couple of weeks I've really been into just using these highlighters and yeah, you know, when I have been highlighting, I've been using this particular one and another one, which I'll show you in a moment. This is the new highlighter from MAC and it's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And these are permanent, guys. Yes, they're permanent and they basically come in the same formula as Oh Darling, you know, the, the one that they released last year in the Christmas collection, the blue packaging that everyone went crazy over. But these highlighters that they've released in their permanent range are more iridescent highlighters. Now this one that I've been loving in particular is called Show Gold. It says it's called Show Gold, but it's actually a pink tone highlighter. So strange, but it is. So it looks gold in the packaging, but when you actually see it, can you see that there? It's a pink tone. So it's that iridescent kind of highlight and I have been loving this guys. Like this has been my go-to for the past, how long? I'd say a week and a half. I'd say it's just a beautiful, beautiful, but I highly recommend Show Gold as one of the ones that you pick up. I did also pick up the shade Beaming Blush, which is more of a gold highlighter, um, but they had other ones like Soft Frost, which is the purple one. Guys, that is so, so pretty. I wish I got that one too. Now, another highlighter which I really enjoyed using recently uh, was this one, and this is the new Cover FX highlighter, and this is in the shade Candlelight, and it's been, I've really enjoyed this, and it might be in a favourites next month. I need to play around with it a bit more, but I just thought I'd mention it because I have been using it this month as well. But can you see the tone it gives? It gives such a pretty bronze tone, and it just works on days where you don't want to necessarily look like a highlighted goddess you know there are days there are days where we don't want to look like that and you want more of that like natural kind of beauty and on a deeper skin tone this highlighter does that and you can see that there so it blends out really nicely if i can i say this and then it, it never works for me <laughs> but it does blend out really nicely and it you see it just gives like a luminosity that you know works so well so let's talk about some lip products i've been enjoying this month so one of the lip products i've been really liking has been the milani metallic liquid lipsticks and i think some of you wanted me to do a lip swatch video of these so i will try and get that filmed and up for you i'm not sure when but I will try and do so. But yeah, I highly recommend picking one of these up. The one I really enjoy using is this one called Pure Matness, and it's this like bronzy kind of brown tone. Can you see? It is beautiful. It has like a reddish tone to it as well, like a, like a purple reddish tone to it, but it's so good. Oh, and these smell so good, guys. They smell like fruity, like sweet fruit vanilla kind of scent to them gorgeous but can you see that and i wear this to work as well and i like the fact that this is metallic but it's not like overly metallic that you can't use it on an everyday basis can you see that such a beautiful beautiful color and like i said you can wear this every day and it looks 
stunning especially on deeper skin tones i think this color works so well so yeah been loving it highly recommend this particular one and it's the shade number nine pure matteness another lip product i have been wearing quite a bit as well has been the kat von d shade exorcism and this is a purple tone and again i've been using this quite a bit for work as well um i don't know i've just been really liking it for some i mean i've had this for a while and to be honest when i first tried the kat von d liquid lipsticks i wasn't a big fan of them i'm not gonna lie uh and then recently i started playing around with them more and then i realized actually these are quite comfortable liquid lipsticks now i won't say they're my favorite because i know they are some people's favorite lipstick liquid lipsticks but they're not really my favorite just because they don't necessarily last as long as others that i have in the sense that I find that they, these do tend to fade a bit and you know then I have to reapply them but I do really like them because they're one of the few liquid lipsticks that I can reapply and it doesn't necessarily feel horrible on my lips so don't necessarily last very long but at the same time I can I can reapply it and it works nicely so yeah now going back to the whole metallic uh you know formulas uh something else i've been enjoying playing around with has been this jue one now i haven't worn it every day this month obviously but i have been using it then you know every now and then on top of other products like other lipsticks and stuff and it's the jue tan lines and yeah i've been really enjoying it i think it actually works quite nice and it's basically just a well it's a lip topper so it's like a lip gloss like heavily metallic lip gloss but on top of lipsticks and stuff works nicely so i thought i'd mention that because yeah i have been doing that to kind of give my lips a bit of more of a metallic finish sometimes and then another one which i've been enjoying in terms of a metallic kind of gloss is the new well not new but the newish uh colourpop ultra glossy lips but this one is the shade cheat code and it's a metallic finish and i really like this as well i think i'm wearing it in one video i'm not sure not sure if i've published a video yet or not but again this is a really nice color and really nice um formula and color for deeper skin tones i think this actually looks nice on every skin tone to be quite honest with you but and then the last lipstick i wanted to talk about is this new one from tanya burr cosmetics and she came out with a whole range of like new autumn winter makeup collection stuff and one of the one of the things i really wanted to try from her range was her lipsticks because i thought the packaging looked nice and i watched one of her videos where she was like just going through them and i thought actually this looks quite quality and you can see it's like a gold packaging a little weighty so it doesn't feel cheap or anything and then you just open it up and this is the lipstick inside i've used this quite a bit and apologies because i've got like brown lip liner on it but you can see how i use it it basically is a it's like a pinky nudey brown kind of color gorgeous that's it swatch there on my hand really pretty but this is a great everyday lipstick and all i do is just line my fill my lips in with the brown lip liner and then put this on top of that and it gives me a very gorgeous nude finish like you don't necessarily want to appear to be wearing lots of makeup you want more of a natural finish this is what this lipstick does and i really like it it's the shade pink cocoa so yeah really affordable as well so try them out i've only tried out this particular shade it's not a matte lipstick it's just a creamy lipstick doesn't necessarily you know last all day but it's a lipstick so you can reapply them and everyone's used to reapplying lipsticks right so yeah i really like it and it's very comfortable to wear so a big thumbs up to tanya bear for that this bag by beauty bay and i picked this up from their website and they basically have like a beauty bay collection where they have different bags and in the bags they've got different products and it has different price ranges so you can pick them up and like try different things and i really wanted to try out the gerard cosmetics liquid lipsticks so i've heard people talk about them and say they're quite nice and i didn't i would never tried it when i saw that beauty bay were doing these bags and they had different products inside and i saw they had one of the bags with gerard cosmetics liquid lipstick inside i was like yes i'm gonna try it and i got this particular shade and this one is called um iced mocha and guys i love this now this reminds me a lot of my favorite ColourPop cosmetics um 
ultra matte lip which is the now discontinued stingray from it's my ray ray it reminds me of that so much and this is called iced mocha and when it dries down it gives that same like deep pinky brown color it's stunning such a beautiful color now in terms of the formula of these these are quite comfortable to wear not my favorite formula because they don't last i don't think they last as long as others i have i'm not complaining about it i would definitely get more of these in fact i went to an event uh, that beauty Bay actually were hosting and um actually i met uh what's his name i met <laughs> jeffree star and i met patrick star and manny mua they were there and this was only last week and uh they were giving us loads of goodies and i've got so much like pr goodies i don't know if you guys want to see like a pr haul or something i don't know let me know what you think about that because i don't necessarily know i just show it on my snapchat but if you guys want to see it on youtube just let me know and i'll show you what we got at the event the beauty bay event and other things i've been to but yeah i got some more stuff from gerald cosmetics because the owner of gerald cosmetics jen she was there and i was speaking to her for a bit and she gave us some more stuff and also in the bag what we actually got which i'm actually really enjoying as well is this ico liner and it's a mini one i think but it's a waterproof lash enhancing carbon black eyeliner it says and it's just one of the felt tip liners it's what i'm using today and i really like it it's just like a matte kind of liner but i really like this like smaller pen i think it works really nicely but this is quite a moist liner do you know with some liners they come out quite dry sometimes this is quite moist so i'm really liking that about it and then in the bag we also got some makeup geek eyeshadows as well so i've got the shade bitten and i got the shade cosmopolitan as well so yeah two shades i think i've got these shades already so i might put this in a giveaway i'm gonna try and do a really big giveaway at the end of the year guys so um just you might just get some makeup geek eyeshadows but yeah this this bag was really cool so i thought i'd mention that to you guys uh this was how much was this i think either 16 or 18 pounds for this bag and bear in mind that i think a jar of cosmetics liquid stick is about 11 pounds and then the two makeup geek shadows are like five pounds something each i'm not sure how much the ico pen is but already that's about 20 pounds with just those three products in here so yeah really loving it and you get this uh bag as well so cool i'll put the link down below to the one to this particular bag if it's still available but if not definitely check out the different collection pieces they have now you guys know i love to do eyeshadow you know i love my eyeshadow <laughs> so this video wouldn't have been complete without me talking about an eyeshadow palette that i've been really enjoying this particular month and it has been i have to say the one that really stood out to me that i thought i really need to talk about is this and this is the new bh cosmetics uh, marble collection palette and this is the warm palette guys if you buy any palette this month i would say like an affordable palette i would say definitely try and get your hands on this particular one this hopefully i don't know if they've still got it online i hope so and i hope they don't um get rid of this collection because i actually really like this i'm going to do a video on this i've actually recorded it for you i just need to edit it and put it up because some of you did say you wanted to do wanted to see a review on it but this particular palette is so good like the colors are like everyday colors for me they work really well i would if i'm wearing eyeshadow to work I would typically just go into any of the shimmer shades and just put them all over my lid with my finger like just you know just one of the shimmer shades all over my lid that's just me swatching it just slightly swatching it <sighs> guys can you see that just just slightly swatching like the pigmentation on this is so good and i'm not typically a fan i'm not normally a fan of um bh cosmetics eyeshadows to be honest but this palette really blew me away and i'm i yeah i can't rave about it anymore like it's so good if you love these kind of tones then you would love this i will also say that they do have a cool tone one so you can definitely check it out and pick up the cool tone if these are too warm for you but this was definitely right up my street and i'm loving them i have been using it for the past week and a bit i think and it's definitely something obviously because this is october favorite so i have been using it this month and i really like it and i thought i would mention it to you so this is the pro hd Longwear concealer and again i've got a video going up soon with this in it and a new conceit contour concealer palette from freedom makeup london i can't remember who but anyway they've got a new one out but this one is from freedom 
and it's their pro as i said their pro hd long wear concealers really really gorgeous they have loads of shades guys like they have quite a few shades in this i have got i'll quickly show you the shades that i've got these are the four shades that i've got in this and the reason i've got four is because this one is my highlighter shade like this is what i would use typically under my eyes and this is the one that i have been using quite a bit and you can see i have been using it and you can like it's so good this reminds me of the la girl pro concealers they're basically dupes for that really really good i highly recommend these they've got the brush tip applicator as well just like the la girl ones and you can see that the color on me works really well as an under eye like concealer brightener so gorgeous this is the shade fawn so that's fawn that's the lighter one for me and again i would use that under my eyes and i've been loving that one this one's deeper this is more my skin tone uh this one is called what's this one toast and toast is like more my skin tone shade if that makes sense and guys i'm sure you can use this like as foundation as well if you wanted to all over your face like you can use them in any way but they are supposed to be like concealer type products but that's the shade toast i haven't opened this one because i just got these ones because i love these so much i decided to pick up two new ones and this is the shade espresso and you can see that that's quite deep and then this i picked up this white one i don't really know why i just decided to i was curious about it and i thought i could use it as a mixer as well but this is a pure white concealer kind of product and this is the shade white and then the last product I'm going to talk about today is this. And this is the perfume I've been using this particular month. And it's the By Invitation perfume by Michael Buble. And if I've seen you this month and you've smelt me, that sounds really weird. But if you, if you have smelt me, so weird. It's basically this perfume that I have been using. and. I'm not even lying guys everywhere i go and i'm wearing this perfume someone always comments like i was in the post office the cashier was just like you smell really good and i was just thinking this is like so awkward i just want to post my parcels so yeah i was sent this particular perfume i have no like affiliate code or anything so definitely not trying to sell it to you but i i i love it and yeah it's so good and if anyone has smelt this on me you know because it smells so good so i thought i cannot not talk about this this month because i literally have been wearing this all month and it's really good i thought in my favorites videos i will include one product that just didn't work for me this month so i don't think this will be a surprise to many of you if you have watched my previous video but i have to say it guys that <laughs> This palette by Huda Beauty has just not been up to scratch for me. And you guys have already seen, if you've seen my review, you know why. If you haven't, then I will link it down below for you and in this video as well up here so you can basically check it out. But yeah, this is this has been a big fail for me. Um, the shadows, just especially these like foiled, heavily metallic shadows towards the bottom there just not worked out for me the eye look has been nice you know the overall eye look and i'm actually using it today because i you know like i paid 56 pounds for this yes uh so i i'm gonna use it but it just i just don't like the i just don't like the, the actual formula of those shadows the mattes have been nice but i don't know there's just this palette it just feels like a waste of money if it was cheaper then i'd be more forgiving um the packaging feels quite cheap I'm not gonna lie it's cardboard packaging with a bit of plastic on it some of the shadow formula is not great i don't know just didn't work for me but again i've got a full review and swatches of this for you to check out but yeah if you are thinking of getting this then definitely watch watch the review first <laughs> and make up your own mind but for me this has definitely been definitely been my biggest disappointment this month and yeah unfortunately it just didn't work for me and therefore it has entered my fail for the month of october so guys that's it for this month um i don't think there's anything else that i wanted to talk about so i will be doing this monthly we'll trial it out and see how it is 
uh, and yeah I'll try and rotate my collection so that I can actually have a lot more stuff to talk about this next month so yeah hopefully that was useful guys gave you some ideas what have you guys been loving this month let me know down below and yeah we can have a little chat down below but thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video take care guys see you soon bye ciao Goodbye, love you, my love.